hello everyone today we begins with the immune response in my previous video i already covered the immunity now we begins with the immune response types of immune response humoral or antibody mediated which is a function of b lymphocyte and cell mediated which is a function of t lymphocyte antigen what is antigen a substance that can stimulate immune response in the body antigen is a substance that stimulate an immune response in the body so that is the antigen histocompatibility antigens so that is the most important for viva as well as short knots histocompatibility antigen refers to the antigen present on the plasma membrane of cells of each individual of a species that means inside every species there are a different type of individual are there and in that individual the specific antigens are present on their surface of their cell membrane so these antigens are known as histocompatibility antigens these antigens are encoded by genes known as histocompatibility genes which collectively constitute major histocompatibility complex which is located on the short arm of chromosome number 6 mhc or major histocompatibility complex present on the surface of leukocytes is known as human leukocyte associated antigens or hla mhc class 1 mhc class 2 and msc class 3 are there so first of all we are going to see the mhc class 1 virtually or the cells of the body excluding red blood cells that means mhc class 1 antigens are present on all the cells of the body but not present on the red blood cells mhc class 2 on immunologically reactive cells such as b lymphocyte macrophages monocytes and activated t lymphocyte so these mhc class 2 antigens are only present on the immunologically reactive cells such as b lymphocytes macrophages monocytes and activated t lymphocytes and mhc class 3 the genes coding for the complement component of the classical and the alternative pathway so mhc class 3 which are present on the genes which code for the complement components of the classical and alternative pathway antibodies are the gamma globulins so that is the structure of antibody these are the two light chains these are the two heavy chains these are the variable region which uh, you are seeing from the purple color this is the constant region c means constant ch1 ch2 ch3 where the vh vl vh and vl these are the variable region of the antibody so there are five type of antibodies igm which is the largest antibody iga another is the ige igd and igg so these are the five different types of antibody first one is the igg igm iga ige and igd ig stand for the immunoglobulins so that is all about the summary of immunoglobulin classes but uh, here one most important thing to remember is that placental transfer igg can cross the placenta where all other immunoglobulins cannot cross the placenta all right only igg immunoglobulins can cross the placenta development of immune response so we already seen that uh, from the bone marrow there are uh, two different type of lymphocyte precursors are produced inside the bone marrow and the maturation of the lymphocyte which takes place in the thymus these are known as t lymphocyte and uh, maturation of lymphocyte which still present in the bone marrow these are known as b lymphocytes so t lymphocytes uh, again on the so the t when it is converted to the lymphoblast 
so this divides more and more number of cells similar to the end of the T lymphocyte. B lymphocyte is also whenever it comes with to the contact with the antigen, it and this plasma cells releases immunoglobulins different types of immunoglobulins which is released from these plasma cells so these uh, T lymphocyte maintain the cellular immunity where the B lymphocyte helps or maintain the humoral response or humoral immunity all right so humoral immunity first of all humoral immunity is also known as immunoglobulin mediated immunity which is mediated by the b lymphocytes b lymphocytes give rise to the plasma cells and plasma cells releases different types of immunoglobulins so whenever the antigen comes in contact with our body so that is the zero phase or zero day and uh, it uh, it's a latent period i already told you in my previous lecture what about the latent period and negative phase whenever the antigen or the initial exposure of the antigen which is considered as day zero from day zero to day around uh, four to five first response is the immunoglobulin igm and next uh, second response is the igg so that is the immune response all right so this phase 0 to 4 days is considered as negative phase or the latent period during this time there is no any presence of immunity against that specific antigen inside our body our immune system takes certain days to generate immunity for that specific antigen inside our body so that is the first response whatever the response this is by the IgM or IgG it is the first response now the second response whenever the second time the same antigen came to contact with our body now the second response is more enhanced look at this graph this this is the graph of first response where the second response is more enhanced so this is the graph of second so look the look at this the second response is mainly mediated by the IgG immunoglobulin and it is more enhanced stages of humoral response antigen processing and presentation recognition of antigen by lymphocytes lymphocyte activation production of antibodies inactivation or attack phase through direct attack or attack through complement system so these are the stages of humoral response first one is the antigen processing and presentation second one is the recognition of antigen by lymphocytes third one is the lymphocyte activation so here we are talking about the humoral response so b lymphocyte activation production inactivation through direct attack or attack through complement system so these are the stages of humoral response so this is the antigen look at this so this antigen comes in contact with first cell is the macrophage so here the macrophage phagocytes this antigen now look at this second picture where the antigen come inside the macrophages the macrophages lysis the bacteria these pouches is known as phagosome where the different types of uh, enzymes are present inside these pouches with digest or which lies the bacteria so here whatever the material which is coming out of these macrophages of that specific antigen these are known as processed antigen and this process is known as antigen processing and this macrophage is known as antigen presenting cell so this is the antigen of major histocompatibility class 2 now this processed antigen whatever the antigen formed over here these are known as processed antigen so these are the processed antigen now this processed antigen uh, whenever comes in contact with the T cell these are becomes the sensitized T cell the sensitized T cell converted to the blast cell and blast cell give rise to four different 
kinds of or four different types of T lymphocyte. First one is the killer T cell, second one is the suppressor T cell, third one is the memory T cell, and fourth one is the helper T cell. Now on the next on the another side, the whenever the B cell comes in contact with the processed antigen, this becomes known as sensitized B cell. Now this sensitized B cell converted to the blast cell and this blast cell converted to the plasma cell as well as the memory cell and this plasma cell give rise to the different types of immunoglobulins all right i hope everyone is understood about different types of immunoglobulins which is released from this plasma cell So that is the complement system. We do not go deep inside this complement system. So, so this is the classical pathway of the complement system and that is the alternative pathway of the complement system. So now the cellular response, the steps of the cellular response, antigen processing and presentation, recognition of antigen by lymphocytes, T lymphocyte differentiation lymphocyte differentiate into the killer T cell, helper T cell, suppressive T cell and memory T cell and finally the attack phase. So these are the steps of the cellular response all right. So this photograph explains the how the cytotoxic T cell kills the infected cell or bacterial cell with the porphyrin mediated killing. T cell having the perforin vesicles or per pouches which having a chemical perforin. Now this T cell releases the perforin chemical inside the or near to area of the infected cell. Now this perforin chemical um, forms the hole in on the cell membrane of the infected cell. So what will happen the ions and water which enter inside these uh, infected cell via these pores or via these holes and the cell becomes brushed so this type of killing of the bacterial as well as infected cell is known as perforin mediated killing of the infected cell with the help of cytotoxic t cell So I am giving you some uh, rough idea or some basic idea about the cytokines or interleukins. These are the small protein molecules which acts like hormones to regulate immune response which is secreted by the lymphocytes, macrophages, endothelial cells and neuroglial cells inside the brain. Interleukin 1 to interleukin 13. We already know this 1 to 13 interleukin but at present there are 100 interleukins are there. Other cytokines which include the tissue necrosing factor alpha, tissue necrosing factor beta and interferon gamma. So these all are the cytokines and interleukins. These are the small protein molecules which act like hormones to regulate the immune response. All right. Immune tolerance. Immune tolerance as a state of unresponsiveness to an antigen. So whenever our immune system is not able to produce the response against the specific antigen, this is known as immune tolerance and mostly we already have immune tolerance against our self antigens. So whenever this foreign antigen comes in contact with our cell, then it will be proliferation phase occurs and larger number of the cells are produced at the end of this proliferation. Now the tolerance are of two types central tolerance and uh, peripheral tolerance. The central tolerance means whenever the immune response cells comes in contact with the self antigen there will be the deletation or apoptosis of the cell takes place of that immune cell. Now the second one is the peripheral tolerance whenever the cells of the immune system comes in contact with the self antigen there will be the inactivation of that specific immune cell will take place inside our body. On the second side whenever these immune cell comes in contact with the self antigen there will be the suppression of the immune cell occurs. So this is regulated by the regulatory T cell or suppressive T cell alright. 
so that is all about the immune tolerance immune tolerance uh, which means the state of unresponsiveness to an antigen immune tolerance is of two types central tolerance and second one is the peripheral tolerance tolerance to the fetus placenta alpha fetoprotein progesterone and fetal t cell so here for the mother the baby is also the foreign material but still there is a tolerance to the fetus are present for example the placental tolerance alpha beta-protein, progesterone fetal t cell or the tolerance to the different types of chemicals of the these fetus as well as different types of cell or blood cells of the fetus so this is the tolerance to the fetus and uh, in normal cases the mother cannot or the maternal immune system cannot generate the immune response against their fetus I hope you understood about the immune response there are two types of immune response first one is the cellular immune response and second one is the humoral immune response the cellular immune response is mediated by the T lymphocytes where the humoral immune response is mediated by the B lymphocytes